welcome to Ragwa International Statistical Institute. So today we will see how to check normal distribution by using Minitab. You know, testing normal distribution, I mean testing of normality is one of the main assumption for all statistical analysis. This is the primary thing we need to do under data diagnosis. You know, there are many things we need to do under data diagnosis like checking the type of data, validation of data, sample size, sampling method, testing of distribution. But testing of normal distribution is one of the important tasks before choosing any statistical tool. So today we will see how to check normality by using Minitab. So we will see how to check normality for patient waiting time. I am going to use patient waiting time data so just enter patient waiting time in the first column so this is my first variable and patient waiting time is the continuous data correct we can use fraction like uh, this is in minutes for example 23 minutes 5 seconds 23.5 10 minutes 30 minutes uh, 27.5 minutes this is from each patient the total waiting time from each patient okay uh, the next from fifth patient it is only 10 minutes 34 minutes 27 minutes 31 minutes 28 minutes 47 minutes 12 minutes 30 36 minutes 45 27 and 31 so just I took only 15 patient okay so now I'm going to check normality by using Minitab. So we'll go to how to check what are the options. We'll go to stat, just choose stat. Under stat, there is option basic statistics. Choose basic statistics, then choose normality test. See, there is separate option for normality test. So choose normality test. So here we have only one variable patient waiting time and it is in C1. So just click this one and rest are almost a default. No need to choose any other things. You can use uh, Anderson Darling test. Probably we'll discuss the difference between each method in the next uh, video. But today we will use only the orders and darling test. Okay. So if you want to give title, we can include. Otherwise, just click OK. Just within a second, we can able to see the graph. And also, we can able to see graph also the p-value. Yes. So this is the normality plot. The probability plot of patient waiting time from this we can able to check whether it is normal or abnormal so here we can able to see two things one is the numerical characteristics another one is the graphical representation so in numerical we have mean standard deviation number of data the Anderson value and the p-value the p-value based on this statistics based on Anderson Darling test.
you know how to interpret p value like p value less than 0 0.05 always significant if the p value is more than 0 0.05 not significant if it is not so here how much we got p is equal to 0 0.151 if the p-value is 0.151 is more than 0 0.05, so which means not significant. So not significant means there is no much variation in the data, which indicate the data is normal. So this this is follow normal distribution, and we can able to see in the graph also. See here almost these are the actual data points and it was fitted in a straight line so here almost all dots look like around around the straight line there is no scatter if it is more scattered then what does it indicate not normal but here almost look like almost all all the dots around the straight line there is no significant scatter which indicate the data is normal But the p-value is more exact thing. From this, we can able to identify very clearly because this is number. So, p-value is less than 0 0.05 significant. Significant means not normal. If it is more than 0 0.05, not significant. Not significant means there is no variation in the data which indicate normal data. So this is normal data. So if we got like this, if it is normally distributed, we can use mean. We can calculate an average uh, patient waiting time. We can use mean for the calculation of average for the location. Then we can use standard deviation to know how far it deviated from the mean. I mean the variation. That this is normal data so we can use mean with the standard deviation to know the location and variation suppose if it is not normally distributed suppose if the p-value less than 0 0.05 what we need to do we need to go for median with the interquartile range for the summarization of data by number so this is the primary thing for all statistical analysis first we need to check the type of data if it is continuous data what is the next step check normal distribution we cannot choose one tool for all type of data it depends on many things but the most important thing normal distribution even for all healthcare data analysis Like if you want to compare, if you want to compare the significant difference between two hospital or two unit regarding the patient waiting time, which method we can use if both are normally distributed, we can use t-test. So everything depends on the normal distribution. So normal distribution play a very important role in statistical analysis. So I hope you understood this concept. So probably the next video, we'll see the difference between different methods for normal distribution. Thank you.